Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a keto fluffy collie rice. So this is the best collie rice you're gonna try, okay? It's not gonna be mushy, it's gonna be nice and fluffy and airy, okay? So let me um, show you what we're starting off with. Um, this is just a little bag of frozen collie rice. So this is already riced, um, and it's, yeah, frozen. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to, um, I'm gonna show you just how simple it is to make. This is, you know, a super easy recipe. So we're gonna microwave this um, to get it nice and soft, and then I will show you the next step because there is a step before you start cooking it that I use that makes my rice super fluffy, and I think that's kind of like the trick. So let's go ahead and microwave this for three minutes, and then I will show you the next step. Okie dokie, so now, Ooh, it's already dripping. I'll have to clean that after. So here we have our collie rice. And basically, we're going to cut a little edge here. Let me show you. Hang on. So we're going to cut a little. That was probably a little bigger than I should have cut. So usually you want to cut just like a little corner, little baby corner. And then, because you're going to fold it over like this, Grab a kitchen towel, something that, because obviously this is really hot right now, but it does need to be hot in order for all the water to come out. So then you're just gonna squeeze it. Excuse my mess back here. And as you can see, all the water will start coming out. And just make sure you get a thick towel because trust me, this is hot. I can't feel it yet, but sometimes it, the heat will seep through. So I'll show you what it looks like once we are all done squeezing as much water as possible. The more you squeeze out, the better your rice will turn out. Let's see what it's looking like here. Yeah, see? It looks almost dusty. That's what you want. Okay, so we're going to do a medium-high heat. And the only other thing we will need for a, you know, obviously a plain, plain collie rice. Okay, this is super plain. I'm just showing you how to make it. We're going to use about a tablespoon of oil. So while that gets hot, we'll just cut the bag. And of course, if you want to add, you know, some garlic and onion and any of your seasonings of choice, then of course you're going to add it. But I don't know what you guys want to make with this, whether you want to go Asian or, you know, Middle East. I don't know. So I'm just showing you how to get your rice nice and fluffy and not mushy. Okay. So let me see if that's maybe, might be. Yeah, that's good. So now let's add. Ooh. I think there's still a little bit of water. Okay, so now we add our collie rice. And so we got most of the water out, and this is just your a basic fluffy collie rice. See it's not mushy at all. Let me show you. You could see how it's just nice and it's not stuck together, right? This is very important because I've had mushy collie rice and it's nasty. All right, guys, so this is pretty much all done. It was ready from start to finish in less than five minutes. It's a very basic collie rice but of course, fluffy version. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'm gonna link down below different um, recipes that I've made with collie rice that are absolutely delicious, like a uh, shrimp fried rice, and there's, I think, a couple of other. So I will link them down below, check them out. But here is your very basic rice that you can go Asian or Mexican or Middle Eastern, whatever you prefer, um, but at least you know you're not gonna be eating mushy rice. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I'll see you on my next video.